supporting your girl if you guys are new to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead click the subscribe button and make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you will never miss an upload from me if you guys are new to my channel I just want to give you guys a little bit of context as to why I am filming this video we recently moved into our new home and we've been on the hunt trying to find um, cameras or security system for our home and we looked at uh, Vivint, we looked at ADT, we looked at the ring, and we finally settled on this right here. So that's what today's video is going to be all about, is the Eufy security system. I think I'm pronouncing it right. But yeah, we picked this up from Amazon. By the way, this video is not sponsored. So I just wanted to go ahead and tell you guys all about it and my thoughts on it if you guys should spend your money if you're in the hunt or on the hunt for a security system so if you guys want to hear about it just keep on watching USB charging cable, the AC power adapter, the Ethernet cable, the mount, the magnetic ground, the owner's manual, the warning sticker, and also mounting screws. And then I also wanted to let you guys know we did also purchase the little doorbell um, camera. And in order for you, if you just wanted to get the doorbell camera by itself, in order for you to be able to access the camera, you would also need to purchase the home base. So yeah, the home base is already included in the kit that we chose. So we just added this as extra. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started on taking everything out of the box. Alright guys, so you go ahead and I'll add my device. From there, I'll pick the home base too because that is ours. And then I will go ahead and select my account and push next. So from here, it's pretty easy. You just go ahead and connect your router and just follow all of your prompts. And then once you follow the prompts, the home base will actually tell you um, that it's ready to be synced. Welcome to Eufy Security. Follow the instructions in Eufy Security app to set up the system. Okay, so from there, well, I'll go ahead and I just decided to scan um, my QR code like it asked me to. And then we went ahead and synced everything. All right, so it's taking a little bit. So once that happens, then I went ahead and chose my name for my home base. And then after I did that, just hit continue and done and it successfully added so i went ahead and click next and then now we have to update it so just going to update it and it does take a little bit to update it still waiting guys all right so it's finally successful went ahead and click next So now we gotta make sure um, our signal is pretty good. So go ahead and select our cameras right now. 
And after you select your camera, we gotta get ready to start pairing our cameras for the home base. So we just follow the pumps again and then we get ready to sync it. Press the sync button until you hear the beep. It's discovering our camera. All right, so now I gotta select which name for our camera and we have several different ones. So this one, I'm gonna choose the garage and then I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And we went ahead and added it. All right, so I chose the optimal battery life, but you could choose whichever one, but that's the mode I chose. And I click next for that. All right, so we gotta make sure it's fully charged and then We'll hit got it. And then it's just a few tips that you can go ahead and read how to mount our camera and that's it. All right guys, so I wanted to come on and let you guys know that we do have our cameras mounted, but I did not want to really show that process just for privacy reasons. But I did manage to get a quick little recording. We'll insert the clip right here so that you guys can see um, the quality of the camera. But I also wanted to let you guys know that it did come with a lot of extra hardware and then also um, this right here is just mounts that you would need if you want to mount them indoors so we didn't use any of these we'll just keep them and then it also came with these little um, stickers just to um, you can pull it off so that you can place the stickers where you want your mount to go so it's really pretty easy to get everything all set up and the only thing is um, you just need to follow the directions the prompts will tell you everything so it's really easy to install and then also I wanted to mention make sure that you guys go ahead and charge up your cameras because it will take a while to charge them but I don't want to end our video right here because I do want to actually put this to the test so I'll probably wait about a week and I'll come back and let you guys know my final thoughts on whether or not it is a good purchase but next up I am gonna go ahead and we'll get started on mounting um, the door camera so yeah I'll get started on opening this box up and pulling everything out and setting this up next out of the box I want to quickly tell you what all came with it so first up I'll start over here and we just have the quick start guide and then also the little sticker that you can place in your window just so that it will alert anyone and let them know that you do have monitoring this is the um, charging cord and then this right here is just the little sticker that helps you with the placement so that you can go ahead and get everything installed um, this right here is a wire, the hardware, and then this is a little tool whenever you get ready to, once it's mounted, if you need to take your doorbell off just to um, charge it, you use this tool to be able to pop it off the doorbell. Then also this is a wedge, and then this is the um, mounting bracket. And then I want to let you guys know that the doorbell, you will also need to charge this, or if you don't want to charge it and you have an existing doorbell, you can go ahead and install it with um, the existing doorbell. So either or, but we're going to go ahead and get started on installing. All right, guys, so here is our old doorbell, and this is how it looks whenever you mount to the pre-existing doorbell. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and show you guys that. Hey guys, so it's actually been a few months since we installed the security cameras and I wanted to go ahead and give you guys our review or should I say my review on how the camera works. But you know what? Hold on, let me actually get a little bit closer so you guys can hear me better. All right guys, so I hope this is a little bit better, but I wanna go ahead and get right into it and tell you guys everything you need to know about the UP camera. So. 
I did take a lot of notes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my phone so that I can refer to my notes so that I won't forget anything. So first up, as far as the install goes, I wanted to let you guys know it is really simple to install it. All they had to do was drill a couple of holes and put screws in and then go ahead and mount the cameras. So it was really, really easy. Next up, I will let you guys know about the attachments. All of the cameras actually are magnetized, so it also came with additional attachments to go ahead and use the magnetized feature. So it has a, an extra magnet in there. We chose not to use the magnet. We just went ahead and screwed it in. So from there, I'll move right along and let you guys know about the clarity. I don't know if you guys were able to tell the sun's actually behind me, but it does have really good clarity. Um, I also wanted you guys to know it does record in 2K. So whenever we look at our cameras, everything is really nice and clear. And then moving right along, let's see what else am I gonna tell you guys. Oh, night vision. So the night vision is also really clear as well. We've had instances where people are, are out walking their dogs throughout the neighborhood and it will pick up um, them walking their dogs and it's really clear. So the night vision is really good on the camera. And then also the human detection, it does work really well. Also, it will take a screenshot. So if it does pick up someone's face, the face will be a thumbnail for um, the picture. So that's a good feature also. Um, and then moving on, I also wanted to let you guys know it has given us a false recording as far as human detection goes. Whenever we have wasps fly by the camera or either like a really big bug, it will say it's a, a human detection and that's not what it is. It'll end up being the wasp or the bug. So that's pretty much the only downfall when it comes to that part. Then moving on. I wanted to let you guys know we have had a few rainstorms and we've also had really high winds and we've not had any problems with our cameras. Everything is still working really good. And then also the sensitivity. We have our sensitivity up as high as it can go so it does pull on our battery life a little bit. I wanted to let you guys know we have one of them that's at 80%, one is at 100% and then we have another one that's around 60%. So that's pretty much why our battery is draining a little bit more than normal. So ours is up on the highest settings. And then also, we also let the battery time, it records for 20 seconds, that's the normal optimal time. But we turned ours up a little bit so that it can record a little bit more and then it will also drain on your battery as well. And then also I wanted to let you guys know the app, the app works really good. It does alert us every time there is motion or human detection. So that's a really good feature also. And basically that's pretty much it. I do definitely recommend the Eufy cameras. We're actually gonna be buying a few more pieces um, to add to our collection. So I definitely recommend it. If you guys want to know anything else about it, leave a question in the comments and I will be sure to read you guys' questions and respond back to you guys. Also, make sure you guys check the links um, in the description box. I will make sure that I link everything down below. But that's it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!